Hello angels, welcome to my channel and welcome to this collective reading. Before we start the collective reading, I would like to tell you that you can support my content on Patreon. And I want to thank all of the Patreons who show their support. Really, it feels very motivating because it's not easy to make this type of content regularly. You can also get personal one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, energy healings and readings. The information on therapies is mentioned below. For those people who would like to read my book, In the Name of Love, A Journey of Finding Your Ultimate Soulmate, this book is written with the help of divine and supernatural interventions. You can get it only on Kindle where you get the latest edited version. For those people who cannot afford to get into personal sessions, I would tell you that all the content I share here, you can use that for your own self-study. And there is definitely a phase in this ascension journey where you have to work on yourself via self-study till the time you're not able to stand on your feet uh, financially you're not independent some people have to go through a phase where they have uh, no finances and it happens especially with twin flames it happens because twin flames uh, simply jump into everything straight off you know they don't uh, try to manage this way or that way Twin flames have a very unique signature frequency. It's not easy to be a twin flame. It's not easy to be in a twin flame ascension journey. It is not for everyone. It is not everybody's cup of tea. Let me tell you that. For those people who feel that yes, they are in a phase right now where they're not able to manage anything because everything is happening in such a way that things sometimes seem to be out of control or they seem to be very predestined and dealing with narcissism is also not easy sometimes uh, twin flames have to sacrifice a lot because of this strong narcissism in their life everybody just wants to do their own things everybody wants to be happy around them in the materialistic world the person with twin flame energy feels that uh, they just don't vibe with those people around them like friends or family members colleagues even in relationships relationships are the hardest because getting detached from toxic relationships and toxic choices emotional choices that most people end up making is not easy because it is connected with the narcissistic programming and upbringing so once when people realize that they need to get out of the toxic relationship patterns they have been forming since a long time since a young age in fact they need to get out of it and for that they need to also heal the narcissism, all the abuse that they go through. Narcissism is also good and bad, but it only uh, makes a lot of sense when you have healed. To reach that point where you are healed and you are truly independent, it takes time, patience, efforts, work, everything and a lot of faith but it's not something that does not happen it's not something which is not also written in cards for the twin flames they go through different phases and different types of stages so i would like to say that in this collective reading uh, the main message was for the twin flames today star see twin flames also uh, would fall into the category because despite being uh, a star seed coming from different galaxy having no experience whatsoever of earth life they are also in a lot of soul shocks for a long time sometimes they also have similar pattern like twin flames so the choices uh, are not easy you have to make a lot of sacrifices those are materialistic sacrifices but from personal experience also i can say that when you are making those sacrifices they are very hard they seem to be very difficult but once you start blending in or once you start figuring things out you actually feel that it was the best decision you ever took Maybe this channeling, this collective reading is not happening via a random coincidence. If you are going through these emotions, then this could also be a sort of validation or acknowledgement for what you are feeling and what you're going through. So I've been told to relay this message today that the twin flames are multi-talented. But the problem is that they have been told not to like themselves or love themselves. And when I say told, I mean programming. As per the programming, they are told they are not good enough, they are not worthy enough. So having so many talents and skills and also having beauty of a different kind creates a problem for them because they start attracting people who they cannot handle. 
who they cannot manage loneliness and isolation they are unable to form close friendships so a lot of twin flame star seeds they are not able to make friends uh the other day someone was telling me that uh, i don't want to go back into my childhood ever because i had that kind of a horrible childhood whereas uh, most people when you talk to them about their childhoods they always speak very pleasantly about it or they speak in a safe uh, haven kind of way they look at their childhood or they reflect upon their childhood days uh, most people say that we want to run back to our childhood days we want to go back to our school days or college days but with twin flames star seed twin flames that is never the case before i go any further i would like all of you to mark yourself present along with your location i also want you to comment below which area of your life do you want to work on that you want to heal and it could be area or it could be trauma that you want to heal and then i want you to understand that uh, the message is that the difficulty you have in accepting and acknowledging being born as a multi talented person actually stems from you being a multi dimensional person which means that most of you people do not like just one thing you can be a good painter you can be a good writer you can be a good singer you can be a good homemaker also so there are lots of things that you like and as a child you were always probably busy doing all the things you loved in probably every day for you was a day full of excitement but when you don't get the right type of acknowledgement you don't get the right kind of love and support and acceptance for who you are for example you have siblings or you have some other cousins in the house or you look at the neighbor's children who are not multi dimensional or multi talented but they are getting lots of love or they don't have that type of energy which is unrecognizable they have the similar energy the sansara energy or they also have the same type of uh, liking for materialistic things we all understand this right we are on the same page that like minded people attract each other like minded energy also attracts each other so if you are born in very mainstream places where the societal norms are very high or the societal values uh, are all about getting this getting that buying this buying that or maybe the parents are trying to educate a child and you probably are good with education but you also like to do a lot of other things or there is this different type of joy a child like that a twin flame child or a star seed twin flame combo would carry so that type of excitement and happiness and contentment and peace is usually not seen in people so people don't relate with it even if they are adults who are their caretakers they don't relate with their energy there is some kind of disconnect in them uh with other people and this is also part of the plan of course this is part of the plan because if you are born to raise the frequency of this planet if you are amongst the 1 lakh 44000 people the spiritual warriors who are here to do god's work then you cannot be in the same vibration like other people because other people have lot of karma to resolve and you on the other hand you're born in a place so that you can get their karma only when you get their karma you get their karma in your dna only then you'll face some challenges or you'll face uh, some negative situations or positive situations and based on that you're going to maneuver your days years on earth okay so the mainstream societal values and the system of this planet human beings they are not supposed to be thinkers the way they are programmed they are supposed to be just slaves okay mentally they are all slaves slavery is the energy that comes from demons demons like to make people slaves so that they can rule on them whereas divine rulers which i think will grow with time now divine rulers want everyone to be free and everyone to be a thinker and they want people to be independent and happy and joyous you know how it is in ram rajya everybody is abundant everybody is opulent everybody is happy everybody is giggling every day everybody is doing whatever they love and still they are able to manage their livelihood because there is no greed
and when you are also in a higher frequency you are a giver and all those people who are giver are usually very abundant and these are the lessons that people on the ascension journey twin flames and star seeds light workers you're all here to learn these lessons on how to be abundant because you've been in family setups where there is poverty conscious even if you're born in rich places they still have some kind of attachment with money money is not seen as a resource money is either seen as something which is very difficult to obtain or money is something that they need to keep saving so that they get some social status so then with a multi talented multi dimensional child a child who is very much interested in nature a child who has a strong emotion uh, for doing good for others who is innately drawn to helping people is going to be more versatile and not very specific right so they might see the child as a jack of all trades but actually in reality the child is master of many trades yes so the mainstream societal plan and societal value is about you go to school you get the marks you get the grades you get out of of the school you go to the college you get a degree or whatever you get a job after 14 15 16 years so all those 14 15 16 years are actually only focused on getting just a job which equals to getting social status or getting validation and approval from other people in the society in a strange way i don't know how this works out for a lot of people but it sounds really depressing imagine you put 14 to 16 years of your life in doing things where you have no liking for or your liking is not even considered i mean now i've been hearing some speeches now you can see a bit of change happening because of countries like japan or nepal some parts of india also some parts of america also where they've started giving more priority to what the child likes because children have suffered a lot and the society is ill right now as much as we have great things in japan we also have uh, these bunch of people There are lots of hikikomoris in Japan right now. That's because those were the kids who probably did not get the right type of attention and acceptance. Those were the kids who did not get the right type of environment and now they don't want to do anything. If only they learn to contribute. If only they get out of the frequency of being in complete isolation and then stepping out and doing something worthwhile maybe for children, for animals, for nature or just working on their third eye with solar plexus chanting. I think they will have a considerable amount of change in their energy and overall excitement and joy in life. I was also studying about these two evil Korean twins called Han twins. Although these evil twin sisters, they come across to be really like uh, very manipulative and negative, but if you look at the way they were raised by narcissistic parents, especially an addicted narcissistic mother and a father who ran away from his responsibilities, I mean, it's understandable that they not only developed those narcissistic qualities, but they also had the psychic connection with each other. and uh, they were almost living the same type of life a parallel life and uh, i will share this story separately on my other channel which is called narration by suna you guys can subscribe to that channel where i intend to share these type of stories where you can see how narcissism is actually the creator of all of these uh, negativity negative things that happen on this planet because children are not getting raised properly So I'm being shown that you were raised by people who had very poisonous tongue that actually shut you down. Uh it's too bright actually so you can't see. Okay maybe now. So they said a lot of mean things to you when you were growing up. You just needed simple acknowledgement and validation, but they they snapped at you unnecessarily. They never gave you the love you wanted and even now I feel some of you don't get that type of love some of you are still struggling with those things uh, very badly some of you have developed i can sense some people also having that uh, sort of a mental depressing pattern some of you i mean very rare i can pick on to energy i don't know if these people are present here or not but i also sense people with a problematic personality like a split personality that they cannot handle like one minute they are saying orange second minute they are saying apple 
next minute they are saying orange again another minute they are saying apple again so not only they are confusing their own selves but wherever they go they create this confusion because they are not ready to let go of the narcissistic parents or whatever they've been through as a child they don't want to let it go because they are attached but this is not the correct thing to do according to me and uh, you could have diverse talents and you could have diverse interest but a uh, lot of twin flames and star seeds don't align with conventional beliefs and they don't understand why people do things just to get ego massage like for example i mean i have so many examples from my own childhood also but uh, i would rather like to hear from you guys uh as i know that it's not an easy journey for healing someone has to be not only street smart but also smart in terms of bit of education uh, in order to become independent and you also need to have some kind of um reason reason is very important motivation is very important if you have the right type of motivation which is why i tell every single person to volunteer if you guys want to volunteer with me you can do that also because physical and uh, real time volunteering seva actually strengthens your inner work a lot of people do inner work and they tell me that i'm doing my inner work but i'm not getting much uh, benefit or result that's because inner work is not just one thing inner work is a combination of four five things inner work is also about having the right kind of company because the company you keep also has a big impact on you i mean of course if a person is extremely negative they cannot be around positive people because their own negativity will not let them be around positive people so you need to work on what you listen to you need to work on what type of content you consume every day you need to also uh, you know keep your mind ready uh, for what you don't need to keep inside it and what you can keep inside like there has to be a constant awareness that this is good for your mind and for your mood so if you feel that your mood is dropping down don't do those things like addiction patterns some of the twin flame star seeds and light workers till the time they don't understand a lot of things clearly they have many addiction patterns smoking drinking maybe uh, relationships toxic relationships some other addiction pattern in terms of food or in terms of you know their routine life overall sometimes it's also just hanging out with people who have uh, gossipy nature gossiping nature or hanging out with people who are not independent hanging out with people you know who are maybe not codependent emotionally but they are codependent financially on their parents some of the people i know in twin flame ascension journey have attracted life partners who don't do any work like they probably come from very privileged backgrounds they come from very rich families so they never had to work but you know when someone is in their 30s and they've never done a job they've never earned their own money or whatever they've done in life business or this or that it's because of other people's either investment or recommendation then that's a very sorry state to be in because those are grown up babies those are adults that that will never change themselves they'll always need someone else to take care of them so sometimes the empaths end up attracting partners who need a lot of babying you know and they themselves are unhealed babies in some ways so they need someone who can help them also while they can also you know give love to them so it has to be a healthy balance of giving love to each other love and gratitude is the medicine that can heal all the sickness of this planet so number 1 some of you have figured out about gratitude that you need to focus on positive you need to be thankful for what you have those people i think are also here if you feel this way if you resonate with this statement that i've just made then do mention about your experience then there are some people who are struggling with love right now majorly uh, but again combination of gratitude with love helps a lot so concepts like twin flames and star seeds 
uh, or just being different because some of the adults that have raised you who have raised you have no idea about these concepts twin flames are seeds or spirituality or new age spirituality or not being in rituals being in uh, you know spiritual lifestyle they don't know about these things so they really don't know how to align their energy with a child like that so when you were young uh, they had very mainstream and conventional beliefs and also very ritualistic beliefs or they had a ritualistic lifestyle there was no space for actually experiencing god or the beautiful connection that you can develop with god i think some of you were born with that connection you had a divine connection you were connected to divine and imagine people see that people are seeing that the adults can see that that this child is divinely connected maybe wherever they go with you the saintly people or the angelic people love you a lot so there is also feeling of jealousy and envy i've also noticed uh, some of the narcissistic parents uh, subconsciously or unconsciously get jealous of the child's abilities also because maybe say it's a narcissistic mother who always wanted to be a singer but could never sing she had uh maybe good talent or whatever skill maybe she is good in something else maybe she is a good writer but she cannot sing uh properly in the right way but the child is born with the gift of singing the child needs no training for anything so it can leave some kind of competitive streak in a mother without realizing it I mean there's a really nice book you guys can read that too it's called Daughters of Narcissistic Mothers if you can read that it would really probably help someone I was just uh, asked to give this name today but yeah you can read this book so concepts like twin flame star seeds or spirituality they they are seen with some kind of negativity also your talent and gifts are not uh, appreciated that much if not the narcissistic parents then the siblings who are also proxy narcissistics of your uh, parents or other adults some other adult i'm not saying everybody's parents are like that uh, see narcissism is everywhere everywhere okay so i don't see it as a very bad thing also but it's a big challenge so maybe the siblings get jealous maybe there's a big competition between you and your siblings some people don't know what they want to do some people don't have any individual idea or any individual uh individual personality so they always piggy back on others they tag along with others twin flames and star seeds have a very unique individual personality which they embrace uh, royally but because of all the negative programming they may not show it outside but in their heart they have a feeling that you're not good enough not good enough not good enough like whenever they want to do something they really love they face so many challenges and i'm telling you challenges always come some of you people have developed courage and self assurance to face the societal pressures that want you to conform and they themselves don't know really what they are conforming to once you heal you become an inspiration for those people also because they start to realize that nobody needs to actually conform to anything the biggest government or in hindi we say the word sarkar for government the biggest sarkar is of the supreme supreme sarkar is the biggest government okay supreme is the biggest 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 and you are basically working for the supreme organization of this planet or this reality of this plane so you already have a job in the best organization so my master says this really beautifully he says when you're working in such an amazing organization the supreme organization then you also get the best package now some of you might think uh, i don't have this i don't have that i don't have the money i don't have this you know there was a time when i also struggled a lot with a lot of things and i do sometimes even now also but i've realized that everything manages on its own eventually like you just have to give up and you have to figure out ways to feel good about yourself like you have to you have to find out ways that make you calm 
If you feel that hanging around with certain type of people is draining your energy, you have to cut off from them because there are some people who have got a whacked up energy. They might be attracted to you because they know you're healed. They get those vibes from you, but they don't want to work on themselves. They don't want to let go of bad habits. They don't want to let go of addictions. They don't want to let go of their negative thinking patterns. They don't want to let go of their codependent nature. They don't want to be happy. They don't don't want to be grateful but they want to hover around you to suck your energy out they will ask you questions or they will just keep looking at you like a cctv camera monitoring every single thing you do how much money you have how many things you have where do you go what do you do how do you talk how do you walk they want to check everything out because they are like i want to be like this person or i want to do the things that this person is doing but they are not doing it in a healthy way so that can drain you either you need to be around people who love to volunteer who love to do things for others who are good contributors so even if they have you know one or two negative qualities it's all right you can manage okay so today's channeling is for those people who are either working towards accepting their multidimensional multi talented personality the lifestyle they want to build on it or people who are already doing it and now just wanted to hear from me all these things so yes you are multi talented you are multi dimensional and you need to be happy about it you need to own up to whatever god has given to you because god has given you all these talents and skills and these personality traits so that you can share it with others sharing is caring when we are programmed negatively we keep those things to ourselves either we keep them keep them hidden or we don't share them because of fears or in some cases some people don't know like what to do with those things you know how to deal with those things some of the people have attracted so much negative attention that they want to numb it down or dumb it down or keep it in the closet so yeah it's not easy for some people but i think uh maybe this happened in the past with you and now as you go as you move into 2024 we are in april right now soon we'll be in may 5 months of 2024 also how we calculate uh, the year for us is not the typical calendar english calendar way you always calculate when the year starts from you when your birthday starts when you're born so your 2024 if you are born in march will start in march 2024 for those who are born in february it will start in february for those who are born in august it will start in august being versatile is a very good thing uh being able to flow and blend is a very good thing but i think uh when you add meaning to it when you add contribution to it when you add service to it service to mankind service to god that's when you actually start flourishing a lot more and before that of course in our work very very important in our work is so important but along with in our work you need to have a very kind heart which i think most people have the only thing is they are so attached with the materialistic things or they are so attached with the environment the toxic environment they come from i mean i know of people who work on themselves who do healing therapy but they don't know how to cut cords from the toxic environment they're in either it's coming from their own people or it's coming from workplace even if you're in the worst environment in the worst neighborhood in the worst uh office or school or college you need to figure out a way to disconnect from it and create your own vibe wherever you go because you don't need to actually interact with any of those people people are interacting with each other not because they really have something to talk about but they are just doing it for approval and to get validation for their existence which you don't need you don't need you don't need anybody's complimenting you don't need anybody's criticism and if they give both to you it's all right because eventually all people here are volunteers all 144000 light workers twin flame star seeds it's a collection of people of lovely souls they are all here to do the job and then leave we are all here for a job so when you understand that that you are 
in the job i think most of the things they don't feel so heavy on to you you know why because it's like well that's not part of my job and that's not part of my job that's not my concern this is my duty and i'm going to do it and for that i'm going to put my myself into it you know you are the painting and you are the colors so on this note i'm going to end this lovely session here thank you so much for being here i'll see you in the next video one love peace out and victory to ram